Yo, what is going on YouTube? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for joining me today, man. Welcome back. I just want to say before we get started here, thank all of you for your lovely support here, man, being with me, showing a lot of appreciation for the channel, man. I really appreciate that. I like to say that every now and then. So if you're tuning into this video, you got to hear me say it today. All right. I don't say it on every video, but I just want to thank you guys. It was on my mind today getting started. So thank you so much. So we're back here with some more REM. Okay. This is our second time featuring them here on the channel man we're gonna be checking out everybody hurts live all right this is a donation request via buy me a coffee so thank you very much for supporting the channel in that way really appreciate that i want to go ahead and read the request all right it says hi sean i would like you to react to this live version of everybody hurts by rem lead singer michael uh stipe all right wrote this song with the teenagers in mind because of the high suicide rate from teens still an issue we face today man uh, it's very unfortunate right teen teenage years can be a very hard time in our lives so i understand that and i think that's awesome that he wrote this uh, for that cause it says it is a song for all of us really when life begins to feel like it's too much he tells us to hold on and we're not alone this version is my favorite one all right so for everybody hurts uh this is one i've definitely heard the chorus to the song before haven't ever listened to the song um in its entirety so thank you for this donation request today i get to hear the song uh beyond just the title of the track so everybody uh hurts i think that's a great cause for this song uh i think some of my most trying times in my life of course we face them throughout our life right but when you're young you don't have anyone to go to you don't really have an escape you go home you go to school you deal with a lot of uh issues man growing up teenage years are very tough for a lot of us so it's important to keep that in mind especially as a parent uh for our own kids right we know how difficult it can be and how the light isn't always so bright on the other end. So once again, I just I think this is a great call. So let's go ahead and jump into the song and we'll do some more diving afterwards, man. Everybody Hurts live right here. Let's hear the whole song and enjoy the live performance as well. So thank you once again. Here we go.
That's um that's that's a great way to end this song. So as we enter the song and, and ride through about two thirds of it, man, it kind of kept me in an emotional state where I'm thinking about things that were pretty difficult for me in my life and even in my kids' lives. Uh, it puts you in a state almost back into that hopelessness, honestly, is where I was falling back into. I know that's not where their lyrics were taking you, um, but that's where the emotion took me, I guess. I was just thinking back to some of these hopeless points uh, that you had to battle through. But the ending of that song is so perfect because that is the hope, man. That climax is all hope, man. You feel the energy rise and you feel almost like a breath of relief on the track right there. As in, we can do it, right? We can make it through. And I think that's totally intentional, man. That rise right there at the end is so perfect to complement everything that I was told that this song means. Um, I think it's wonderful. I, I know for me and my family, man, my, my youngest daughter... Oh, her first years into middle school, um, it was it was very difficult. It was very difficult because that was her real first time getting bullied to the point of somebody cussing her out and uh, wanting to fight her. She hadn't been in that moment before, right? She's a really sweet kid, really nice kid, um, super outgoing personality. She's unlike, okay, well, maybe you guys get that from me here on this channel, but I'm not like that. Like, I'm really not this open um, I guess maybe it's easier. I got a microphone. I got a camera. I don't have a full audience actually sitting in front of me. It's easy to be open uh, and upbeat. But honestly, a lot of my upbringing and me and my past was very uh, shelled off, right? Um, so where she gets this really bubble personality from, I don't know. But I knew at some point 
they were going to be kids who were kind of jealous of it, who wanted to attack her for being so open and being so bubbly. And it finally happened. And when she told us about it, I was a, a little bit broken inside because I knew it was coming, right? I knew it was going to come. There's just people who turn into jerks, man. Either they were always jerks, uh, raised like that, right? And and sometimes, I mean, I was like that, I, I think, growing up, man, is I was brought up in a household that was very chaotic and it, it damaged me as a young child. And that damage caused me to put damage onto other people. And I hate looking back on it. I wish things were different, right? I, I wish I didn't grow up in such a hostile environment. Uh, but it, it happened. And I knew I tried to get my kids ready for that, saying, hey, at some point, you're going to have to deal with these kids who are damaged. And they're going to push that damage onto you. And they're going to try to break. You got to be above that. So when that finally happened, it, it was hard. And uh, fortunately, we talked her through it. And, and we gave her advice that we didn't ever get, right? Um, but... There are some kids who don't make it through that. There's some people that aren't um, fortunate enough to have made it through, you know, this bullying and this ugliness that exists in the world. And it sucks. It sucks that, that happens. Um, I can only hope that this song had um, helped some kids get through that, man, because that would be wonderful. Not just kids, adults, anybody. Uh, I hope that this song saved some souls. And I really think it probably did. I think it probably did right uh that's amazing i support this cause 150 percent. that's amazing all right so let's dive in a little bit about rem everybody hurts okay so we've got this as genres rock soft rock gospel coming out in 1993 all right so you've got the album version which is five minutes 20 seconds and we've got of course over six minutes right here on this one man so that's excellent as far as the songwriting you got bill berry peter buck mike mills and michael stipe on this one, Everybody Hurts is a song by the American rock band R.E.M. from their eighth studio album. Um, it hit charts on number 29 here on the Billboard Hot 100, number 18 on the Cash Box. Um, and it reached top 10 on charts of Australia, Canada, France, Iceland, Ireland, the Netherlands, and the United Kingdom. All right, so that's really awesome to read right there. For the background, much of the song is written by drummer Bill Berry, although as R.E.M. shares songwriting credits amongst its members, it is unknown how much he actually wrote. Barry's drums are largely absent from the song. A Univox drum machine took uh, his place, but he was responsible for the sampling of the drum pattern on the track. The string arrangement was written by Led Zeppelin bassist John Paul Jones. Wow, how did that work? That is impressive. Uh, I'd love to understand how that works. So guitarist Peter Buck commented on the making of the track, saying, Everybody hurts is similar to Man on the Moon. Bill brought it in, and it was a one-minute long country and western song it didn't have a chorus or a bridge it had a verse it kind of went around and around and he was strumming uh, and he was strumming it we went through about four different ideas about how to approach it and eventually came um to the stacks otis redding pain in my heart kind of vibe i'm not sure if michael would have coped that reference but to a lot of our fans it was a Staxy type thing it took us forever to figure out the arrangement and who was going to play what and then Bill ended up not playing on the original track. It was me and Mike and the drum machine. And then we overdubbed it. And right here we have uh, in the liner notes of the album, uh, Buck wrote that the reason the lyrics are so atypical straightforward is because it was aimed at teenagers. And I've seen, I've never watched Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but the idea that high school is a portal to hell seems pretty realistic to me. The song was used in a 1992 film Buffy the Vampire Slayer that preceded this show. In uh, 20, 2005, Buck said, if you're consciously writing for someone who hasn't been to college or is pretty young, it might be nice to be very direct. In this regard, it's tended to work for people of all ages. In two, uh, 2022, Stipe told Rick Rubin that Everybody Hurts was inspired by Nazareth's Love Hurts. Um, Michael Stipe had originally intended for Patti Smith to be a second vocal on the track, but it did not work out. Smith later included her own cover of the song as a bonus track on the 2007, uh, 2007 album, 12, all right? So just once again, um, I think that's amazing to make music with a specific cause in mind. Um, I know that they probably experienced this type of um, hardship, I would say, in their teenage years, and that probably brought it up to the surface a little bit to say, hey, let's be a voice for those kids. Let's be a voice for that. Um, and it seems like I've probably mentioned this at least two, if not more times on this channel, kind of talking on this, uh, exact subject and how dear it is to me man um to help the youth man and to save the youth um you know and not just to count them out i think it's so easy 
for everybody want to count out the youth because they're not like we were right they they don't have the same experiences we we did they don't they're not into the things that we were but as it always says they are the future man and um maybe plant those seeds that you want to see right in in them when they grow up those qualities those traits help plant them man because if you're not doing it you're discounting them well then we're not helping them okay and i think this is wonderful i thought this was wonderful so thank you so much for putting me on to this one definitely hit me uh, in an emotional spot a little bit um just because damn I wish when we were young, we all had that Superman or woman. Um, and for me, my Superwoman was my mother, of course. Um, but she was always just struggling to keep a roof over our head. That we didn't get these personal feelings across. We didn't get these personal conversations, these deep dives into our emotional states. And I wish we did, but I understand she was providing, right? She had to be the provider uh, for us. And it's something that I missed out on having somebody to really just share this emotional bond with that could have helped guide me better and i just think that's cool that they took some time uh, to put this song into the world it's really really impactful man so thank you so much hopefully you guys enjoyed rocking with me here today if you did please let me know by liking subscribing checking out the descriptions down below help be that guide <laughs> for for the youth man if they ever want to take some time to talk with you talk with them you know what i'm saying so thank you guys so much uh if you enjoyed maybe consider becoming a member here on my youtube my patreon or donation requests those options are always there guys thank you so much i'll see you on the next one peace